they will discuss and examine the key concepts from Marcus Leaning's article, Understanding Blogs. Just another medium? In recent years, blogs have attracted a great deal of attention as they are conceived as a new form of media that will impact all traditional means of media, particularly to transform politics and culture. Arguably, blogs are a form of media technology that alters how people engage with mass media. Before, typical media systems meant that citizens are broadcast too. However, blogs empower the citizen in the face of corporate and governmental control. Retberg argues that blogs are a fundamental shift in how we communicate. Before, individuals were living in a culture dominated by mass media, who distributed their publications to large, passive audiences. However, media has adapted to the new reality where ordinary people can create media and can become active audiences. Blogs date back to 1983, with new gr news groups such as Modbear. The first use of the term weblog was used by John Barger in 1997. The term was then further abbreviated by Peter Merholz into weblog. Since then, further tools were invented, such as Blogger, which was launched in 1999, which allowed the public to create their own blog and is still prevalent in the blogging industry today. Furthermore, the potential of blogs to bring about change is a debated area in the journalism and media studies. One school of thought regards blogs as possessing an enormous transformational potential. The use for blogs will restructure journalistic and media practice, whereas a second school of thought argues that blogs should be considered with other forms of media and social practice. There are four main arguments which can be identified as to how blogs transform media and journalistic practice. 1. Blogs encourage participation online from all genders and ages, which may help to restore civic participation and involvement as blogs can re-empower individuals and build an online community. 2. New technologies such as blogs can allow for a rejuvenated sense of altered relationships between journalists and the public as blogs challenge the power of mainstream media for each individual to engage in activities linked with journalism. Blogs are thus creating a new sense of journalism that involves postmodern sensibilities. Gilmore argues that it is essential for professional journalists to adapt to what's happening and to become allies with the grassroots pr practitioners. The third argument is that blogs bring in a new level of accountability for politicians. The history of politics and the media proved that there have been previous problems with broadcast media. However, now, blogging is sought to extend and rejuvenate the watchdog aspect of the media. The final argument is that blogs erode the power between formal groups in society, but instead challenge corporate media power. Blogs allow the voices from below to be heard and extends the existing power structures and forms of communication. According to Leaning, the critical interpretations of blogs can be grouped into three key arguments. One argument is that blogging shouldn't be a form of social media, but instead participants involved in a form of writing and journalism. However, as it is an engagement by the masses, it can be linked to mainstream media. Barlow, 2007, argues that blogs do not represent a new form of journalism, but represent a theme of citizen journalism. Two, a strong area of criticism of the potential of blogs is the impact of commercial pressures from them. And three, concerns that blogs constitute an actual public sphere. The conclusion is how blogs work socially and in journalism. Bolter argues that academic attempts to explain new media such as blogs can be divided into two camps that occurred in the early 1970s by McLuhan and Williams. The formalist approach is theories that appear to focus on internal characteristics of the media, whereas culturalist approaches are theories that focus on characteristics that are external. This was never resolved, thus suggesting that the blogging argument too will never reach a certain resolution. Thanks for watching!